Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany, and today I wanted to do a flip through of my July setup in my VDS TM in the color Pearl. Um, this is a personal size planner. Um, I love this cover, by the way, but I do have an itch to try something different for August. August is my birthday month, and um, I will be changing covers. However, I'm undecided, so I need your help. So, before we get into the flip, I need you guys to vote for me real quick. Which cover should I move into? The Undyed from Think Think K or the Black from Print Pression? Comment your votes down below and whichever one wins, I'm going to pick. So, because I'm so undecided, they're both beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Let me know. Here's a good look at them. They're both gorgeous. All right, so let's go ahead and just get started. Please excuse my voice. I'm kind of getting over a cold. Um, allergies, I have really bad allergies, and it's like the time of year um, here uh, that they're awful. So, all right, so let's just jump right in. I love this cover, by the way. I've been in it for two months straight, which is not like me, but it's so squishy and just absolutely beautiful. I already have like a list of all the other... Um, touch me line so these are not custom these are already like pre-made so if you order a vander spec um custom i think it takes like 14 weeks to get which is crazy that's almost four months so but um i already have like a list of the uh, touch me leathers that i want i pretty much want all of them so anyway this planner has two pen loops which i love i keep my tombow in this one and my tombow choice for my weekly and daily spreads has been 800 lately Still loving the Pilot Juice pen. Um, it doesn't fit in here well, even though the, this is kind I don't think this is elastic anyway. So I just clip it. It has like this little clipper. So I just clip it on the side and it, it holds fairly well. So in my front pockets, I have this free journaling card from, from uh, Paper Planner Bliss and then the Cloth and Paper Monthly card just kind of tucked in here. My matte black Ollie clip from Cloth and Papers um, jeans sub box. And uh, I did end up canceling my sub box from Cloth and Paper. I'm not loving everything. And I know that that's like a risk you take when you do subscription boxes. But for me, it just didn't seem to be worth the money. So I did cancel. So um, July was the last month I got my sub box. This doily here is from the Dollar Tree. Um, there was like a whole big, huge pack of doilies for a buck. Um, in different sizes. So I just got that and thought it looked really cute. So, and I don't keep anything in the big back pocket. Sometimes I'll throw like receipts or important papers in there that need to be filed away. But as of right now, I'm up to date on all that mess. I just have like this laminate sheet here to protect my front dash. This was a um, printable bundle that I bought from Hey Planner Girl. It was the collaboration she did with XOXO Jamel on Instagram it has like this vintage like journal vibe um, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful a uh, layered over this dashboard from CZQ plans and I I feel like I say this in every vid video but as always I will do my best to link everything down below um, I do have a coupon code with CZ shop so I'll leave that below as well I have these sticky notes from SM plans and um, they're printables. So I printed the, um, these out on white sticky notes that I got from Office Depot. This is the table of contents that came in that bundle from Hey Planner Girl and the XO Jamel um, collab. And what I like about these is it's fillable. So you, you put in the information that you want and then it auto generates to your, um, your cover pages. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and then here, and all of these are printed on vellum. And then here is a dashboard. I just made this on Canva and printed it on photo paper. I found the image on Google. More sticky notes. And then this is a jelly dash from Cat Espresso Co. And I still have these beautiful journaling cards from Susie's shop. Um, they're like this beautiful iridescent sparkle. This journaling card is from Cloth and Paper. And then this one is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. I also have a code with Pen, Paper, and Plans. And I'll leave that down below as well. This inbox stash is from, I always forget, I'll link it below, um, and I just have like a sticky note. So I did kind of like a hybrid sticky note here where I printed the SM Plans like floral image, and then I um, um, printed the note sticky note from the uh, Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group freebie. Um, so this is just a hand-lettered like inbox stash, 
that I printed on vellum and laminated it and I just have various sticky notes. Um, this template was actually for mommy plans and I printed it on a cloth and paper sticky note. And then I have a ton of these SM plan sticky notes printed out. I use them quite a bit this month. Um, so here's the first um, cover page from that bundle from Hey Planner Girl, my inbox. That's just so pretty to me. Um, this was an image that I found on Google, put it in Canva so it would like be the appropriate size and then printed it on vellum and laminated it. And this is kind of like my cover to my inbox. Um, so I have like this page flag and this is a page flag from Amazon. Um, you, there's like this um, bundle, it's like eight bucks and you get a ton of different like size page flags. And then I just put a label on here so I could easily access my inbox. So this inbox insert is from Paper Test Designs. I love this inbox. This has actually become pretty much my monthly task list, my master task list for the month. Um, and I prioritize it based on level of urgency. So urgent soon later, and then I note when it's complete. Um, I am a very visual person, so it helps me to highlight um, instead of crossing off. I quit crossing things off and started highlighting. I also think it looks neater. Um, but if it is crossed off, it means I like canceled it or moved it or something like that. And then this order tracker is from Nada Notes. It's a freebie on her uh, Facebook group. This yearly um, important dates overview is from Minimalish Plans. I think none of this has changed. And then that's also for Minimalish Plans. This yearly overview is from My Minimal Planner. And then that is also from My Minimal Planner. And then I move into my dividers. My dividers are from Suzy's shop. I used these dividers last month as well. When you order these dividers, they come cardstock. I just laminated them to promote longevity. This itty bitty adorable paper clip is from Paper Planner Bliss, as is this journaling card. I love this journaling card. More sticky notes and then dates, cover page, dashboard from Suzy Q Plans, and then I made these sticky notes on Canva. My monthly system has not changed. I'm still in the monthlies from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. Um, I use this as like my, almost like my feature log or to note imp important dates. Um, and then have a Kubo and Lucy clip here that takes me straight to the month that we're currently in. And so I did pull out a few monthlies just to kind of save some space. I did archive them. And then I typically pre-plan on sticky notes unless it's like a day set in stone, like a birthday or a wedding or something like that. Um, and then this is my list of accomplishments for the year. I explained that in my last video or my last flip. Um, so if you want to check that out, you can kind of see why I do this. But I love having the opportunity to list out my my accomplishments for the year because I think it's powerful at the end of the year when you look at all the big things you accomplished. Because um, sometimes you may doubt what you have and having accomplished. This was also in that bundle from Hey Planner Girl. I printed it on vellum and layered it over this freebie from Paper Test Designs. More sticky notes. And then July was supposed to be like my month off work and my month to relax and just, you know, reset, recharge, but sometimes life doesn't happen the way we wanted to. I did end up getting a promotion at work, so I'm super excited about that, um, but that also meant that I had to do a lot of administrative work in the month of July, so yeah, it's been interesting. So anyway, so for the month of July, I did move to a week on a page. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I never thought that I could plan on a week on a page, and but this worked out really well for me. And these are from SM Plans. So I'll just kind of flip through them quickly. This is from Allo's Creative Corner. I finally snagged one of these, like not her last restock, but the restock before. Um, and I've been using it as my page marker for my weeklies. I think it's so cute. And then this is our current week. That's also from SM Plans. She has a definite style. This is an acetate from Cat Espresso Co. And then this dashboard is from Suzy Q Plans. Some more sticky notes. And then this moves into my daily pages. Um, so I am not a huge fan of like a schedule, a daily schedule, but I do like to list out my to-dos. So I um and I like to use like pretty papers. So this um this paper is from SM Plans Summer Florals from 2020. And I just fit as many uh, days as I can on a page. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's two. Um, this is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl and it is fillable. 
so you can kind of write whatever you want you see here like two days were on this page because it was just I journaled a little bit on there and then three days and then here two days um yeah this was like one day because I just needed like I journaled a bit so I kind of use my daily pages however I need them to work like I took notes here um, to have because I was like on the phone and was like let me write all this down so that's pretty much how my dailies work it's just a running to-do list basically um, and then this bow page marker is from the planner spot and then I just use it to like hold sticky notes for me and then that's kind of like how, almost how I pre-plan like I'll write important dates and stuff like that for when I weekly plan um, and that's been working quite well for me these are from SM Plans. I think they're a freebie. And then these are a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm not going to dive in deep into my finance section um, because um, it's private. But uh, my finance um, cover page and then that is a dashboard from CZQ Plans. So basically all I house in here is my checkbook register which is from Simple and Trendy Co. Let me see if I can show you guys a blank one. Um, yeah, Simple and Trendy Co. Checkbook register, my purchase tracker. Um, so I track how much is spent on planner stuff and then our HSA. Um, and then like I have like debt trackers in here just because I like to be able to reference it quickly. Um, and then I do keep like financial notes. So like if I make a call or if I fill out a form or something like that, I'll jot it down and then I'll either hold on to it um, and keep it in here or I'll transfer it to my A5 or I'll file it away in my, um, I have like a, a three ring binder that I keep a lot of like receipts and stuff in. So just kind of like whatever I need, um, if I need to keep it or chunk it, like basically any finding, any notes that have to do with our finances. Um, so moving into my goal section, I'm trying not to make this like a ridiculously long video guys. Um, this journaling card was a freebie in that order from Ola's Creative Corner. I love it. And then the paper clip is from Paper Planner Bliss. I want to say that this whole situation is a freebie from Mommy Plans. And then the I used the uh, SM Plans, like sticky notes in the background. I made that in Canva. There's my goals dashboard. This is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Suzy Q plans, more sticky notes, AM and PM routine cards, AM routine. I do some of those things. Uh, most of them are obsolete um, in the summertime because my kids are not in school. PM routine, I pretty much stick to this every evening if time allows. Um, and those are freebie from Hey Planner Girl. So first subsection is my health section. That is, this is a jelly dash from Cat Espresso. Um, and then the clear journaling card is from Paper Planner Bliss. The card behind it is from Planning with Allo or Allo's Creative Corner. The brown doily was part of the packaging from Allo's Creative Corner. That is from Caffeine and Paper Co. And then this card is from Paper Planner Bliss. All right, this is a freebie from the planner spot, and I use this to track my cycle. Here's my health log, and I um, made that on Publisher. This is from Cloth and Paper. It's a vellum. This is from Cloth and Paper as well. More stickies. And then this is my workout log. This is a fold-out from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. It's a freebie. Um, and so I do list out my workouts. But something that I was noticing this month is I have not been meeting my step goal. And that is, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm full transparency. I do struggle with, like, staying consistent with my workouts. But I'm really good about always getting my 10,000 steps in. Well, here lately, and it's because I've been spending a lot of time in front of a computer and in meetings and things like that, I have not been as active. Um, so I decided this month I was going to start highlighting the days that I met my step goal and I've met my step goal five times this entire month. So got to step that up. So again, like to have a big picture and a snapshot of, of, you know, areas that I can improve on or, you know, to highlight things I'm proud of. Um, so my next section is my tracker section. I have this Kubo and Lucy clip. I just think it goes so well with all of the deco I have in here. This journaling card is from Cloth and Paper. And then this card is from Pen, Paper, and Plans. 
this vellum is so pretty and it's from pen paper and plans and she uses like this like good quality like super thick vellum it's absolutely beautiful this is a freebie from luna lou's plans and this is my gratitude section have this page flag to mark off my gratitude and then this is my gratitude um these are my pages and these are from thrive on Plans. although i don't think that they're available anymore as a freebie on her instagram but i did find another um gratitude freebie it's from doaa inspiring designs on um instagram you can check that out if you're interested so I just have several of those my no spend tracker is from uh, perpetual plans and then here's my monthly plan from sm plans these are just things I'm trying to track. Like I said, I was trying to track and stay on top of rest and self-care for the month of July. I did a little bit better. Um, I was getting more sleep. I was kind of like, you know, trying to hang out with friends and like do lunches and all that stuff and trying to get my workouts in, trying to drink more water. Those are all self-care things in my opinion. But, you know, life happens sometimes and you're busy. So, I, these are things I track. I want to try to do a family outing every week. Unfortunately, last week we didn't because of um, some illnesses and all that fun and ridiculous stuff. And then down here is where I track my kids' uh, chores and reading. I did not push reading the month of July, and it showed. Um, and then the reason I track my kids' chores is because they're paid off commission. Um, we don't do allowance in the house. You have to earn your money. Uh, so... It's very important that I, you know, track this accurately, but they're kind of slacking too. I guess they'll, I guess they'll notice when they don't get as much money on payday. All right. And then this is a tracker from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. It's a freebie where I pretty much track habits that I want to try to accomplish on a daily basis. Um, this is another tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is where I track my, track my energy, mood, health, and sleep. Um, and then I think... I will also probably add to my health vitamins for the month of um, August. Uh, we're gonna try to start getting back into taking our vitamins regularly. This is a freebie from Goods on Paper. And now that I wrapped up the summer semester, I submitted my last paper yesterday. Woohoo, I'm doing a happy dance right now. Um, I will have time to read for fun. So I'm hoping I can finish that book. Last section in my goal section is my content section. So this is a freebie from Pen, Paper, and Plans. It's actually a journaling card, card, but I um just punched it and stuck it in here. Just be kind. I love it. And then this uh, journaling card is from Olive's Creative Corner, Coffee Planners, and Self Love. Yes. And then I use this sticky note just to kind of jot the remainder of my July videos. This clip is from Amazon, and I bought it in this box here. Um, and I don't know, do you guys use Fetch Rewards? I love Fetch because all you have to do is, like, scan receipts, and you get points. And those points can be turned into, like, Amazon or Target or Starbucks gift cards. Um, I highly suggest you check them out if you haven't already. So, I actually used my Fetch points to purchase those. Um... But yeah, I'll leave um, my little referral code down below if you guys are interested. If you sign up and then scan a receipt, you get 2,000 points and I get 2,000 points. It's actually really cool. Um, and then I made this. Um, you can tell it's kind of janky. Um, but I made this using a piece of transparency film and the Target Dollar Spot adhesive pages or the adhesive pocket thingies. Um, I wasn't a fan of those pockets, by the way. I found them. I had been looking for them forever at Target. Finally found them. They're hard to get on without all the bubbles. Just FYI. But this is from, um, Paper Planner Bliss. Pen, paper, and plans. Pen, paper, and plans. And that die cut was from Susie. Susie Shop. Um, this is from Hey Planner Girl. Here's my, like, YouTube ideas list. Um, my YouTube sorting list. This is kind of how I like stay on task of like what I, what steps I need to take to upload a video. And I have a cool video for you guys next week. I made DIY, DIY cash envelopes. Um, these are my content goals here uh, from SM Plans. And then this is how I track PR. This is a freebie from Not a Notes. My mom life section. There's the cover page from Hey Planner Girl. That's from Susie. 
And I, that's, you know, that looks cool but to me because that's what I think a cool mom looks like. I don't look like that, but <laughs> that's what a cool mom looks like in my opinion. More sticky notes. I have this list insert from SM Plans um, that I have like affirmations listed on. And then my summer activities list is from Paper Test Designs. I got three of the six things, you know, I wish we could have done more, but life sometimes. Um, I want to say that this gift list insert is from Scrap Craftastic. I think I'm saying that correctly. I've had it for a long time, but I think it's a freebie on her site. This monthly calendar is from Simple and Trendy Co. And that's my kids like camp activity schedule. I do reference that a good bit. It's how we like get prepped in the morning, you know, like if they're doing like water activities or things like that. It just really helps me to know like what, what they need for the day before I drop them off. This is from um, the Planner Spot and then Hey Planner Girl Freebie note from my daughter health log from SM Plans. And then it just repeats itself for my daughter section. I do like it. So um, I need um, to get Malaya to write, either like draw me a picture or something. Cause I like to put little notes and stuff and pictures for my kids in here. Sophie's health log, sight words. And then moving on to miscellaneous. Um, this is from Ash Plans. This is from Brooke Ava Prints. This is my password booklet. Um, I just made this image on Canva and kind of turned it into a booklet, Cuba and Lucy cloth and paper. Um, this is a list. It came in that inbox bundle from uh, Paper Test Designs. Some shops I want to try. It's not all inclusive, by the way. Planner wish list. Um, those are some things I want. I want to do a YouTube giveaway soon. Um, if you guys have any good U uh, YouTube giveaway ideas, let me know below. Um, and then just a blank, uh, or grid paper from Peanuts Planner Co. Foxy Fix, uh, Page Lifter, some cards from Hey Planner Girl. I have this card from, uh, Cloth and Paper, and I just have, like, these sticky notes from Nora's Cove back here in case I need them. Little Vander Speck card. And then back here, I have this Foxy Fix dashboard with, um, some stickers in them. But, um, I have a, this little folder that uh, Sophie from Paper Planner Bliss sent me with some icons and stuff that I need to put in here because I think that would fit perfectly. I just haven't had time to do it yet. Um, so yeah, guys, that is my personal setup for July. I guess I should say that my planning system works for me. So like pretty much like the functionality and the way I use my planner does not change. Um, the only thing that really changes is I may try a new insert. And my decorative elements may change. And my cover. So that's pretty much it. But for the most part, this works for me. Um, this kind of keeps my my stuff together, my life together, my dates. You know, keeps me on focus for all the things that are going on in life. So it works really well for me. So anyway, that concludes my flip. I tried to get through it quickly, but we're like almost 26 minutes in. Um so thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to vote which planner cover you think I should use. Um, if you liked it, if you like this video, you know, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a fabulous day.